Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we have this quick and easy braided cardigan. It looks complicated but it's really really easy. Anybody can do it. You just need a weight 3 yarn and a 4mm crochet hook. In this tutorial I make a size small and for all other sizes you can check out my blog crochetwithcarry.com. The yarn I used was So Crafty Double Knit. This is a weight 3 yarn. I got this yarn in Aldi. I know that some people might not be able to get this yarn. So a good substitute would be Paintbox Simply DK. I find that they're both quite similar. And I used about four balls for a size small. Now we're going to start off with our back panel and we're going to chain 17. This is going to be the ribbed hem. Next, we're going to single crochet into the second chain from the hook and then single crochet into each chain all the way across. So at the end of that row, you should have 16 single crochet. For row two, chain one and turn your work. Now we're going to work into the back loop of every stitch across. So into that first stitch, single crochet into the back loop only and single crochet into the back loop only of every stitch all the way across. And then you're going to repeat this row until you have a total of 100 rows completed. So here I've done a smaller swatch, but you're going to have 100 rows completed. Next, we're going to make a double crochet into the end of every single crochet row. So we're going to chain three. This counts as your first double crochet. Then you're going to make four more double crochet. As I said, make sure that every double crochet is at the edge of every single crochet row. So here I've done five double crochet. Don't forget that chain three counts as your first stitch. So into that fifth double crochet, we're going to chain 10. Next, we're going to slip stitch into the front loop of that last worked double crochet. It's just right there. And then there's a diagonal loop in the center of that double crochet. So insert your hook into that loop and then make a slip stitch. So there's your first loop created. Then you're going to do five more double crochet. Once you have five double crochet completed, you're going to chain 10. Then you're going to slip stitch into that front loop of your last worked double crochet and that center diagonal loop. And you're going to repeat that all the way across. You're going to make five double crochet and then chain 10 and then slip stitch into that last worked double crochet. So here we are towards the end of the row. I've just made my last loop stitch. So we're going to finish the row 
by making five double crochet. At the end of this row, you should have 100 double crochet. For row two, chain one and then turn your work. Single crochet into that very first stitch. And then single crochet into the next four stitches. Then you're going to push that chain 10 loop towards the back and then make five single crochet. push that chain 10 towards the back and then make five single crochet. And you're going to repeat that all the way across. Here we are towards the end of the row, so just push that last chain loop towards the back and then make five single crochet. So you're basically going to repeat rows one and two for this pattern. So you're going to chain three and then turn your work. This chain three counts as your first double crochet. You're going to make four more double crochets. So here we have five double crochet. On that fifth double crochet, you're going to chain 10. Then you're going to slip stitch into that front loop of your last worked double crochet and that center diagonal loop. And you're going to repeat that. You're going to make five double crochets. On the fifth double crochet, you're going to chain 10 and then slip stitch into that front loop of that last worked double crochet and the diagonal loop. And you're going to repeat that all the way across. You're going to end your row with five double crochet. Here I am at the end of the row and we're just going to finish this row with five double crochet. For the next row, we're going to chain one, turn our work, make five single crochet. Then 
push that loop towards the back and then make five single crochet and you're going to repeat that all the way across and then you're going to repeat those two rows over and over again until the entire length of your back panel is about 17 inches. If you want a longer cardigan you can make more rows but just make sure you end on a single crochet row. So I have crocheted until my back panel is 17 inches. This will give a cropped cardigan. So if you want it longer, just add more rows. Make sure you end on a single crochet row. So now we're going to start the braid effect. So I like to start on the bottom right hand corner. And I have two loops. Feed that top loop into that bottom loop then go into the next loop above, feed that loop in that beneath loop and you're going to repeat that chain method all the way up to the very top. Here we are coming towards the top, feed that last loop through and then you're just going to leave the loop just resting like this and then you're going to go down towards the bottom again and work on the next row and then you're just going to repeat that all the way across until you have all your loops braided. So now your back panel should look like this. All the loops towards the top are just resting like this. We're going to secure them now in the next two rows. So for the next row, we're going to chain three and then we're just going to double crochet into every single crochet all the way across. And at the end of that row, we're going to chain one and then turn our work. So for this row, we're going to be working in groups of five. So for this row, after we've chained one, we're going to make four single crochet. Then for the fifth stitch, insert your hook and then insert your hook into the loop behind, pull your yarn through and then yarn over and pull through two. So you have basically done five single crochets. Now for the next set of five, your first single crochet will be insert your hook into that next stitch and into that same chain 10 loop, pull your yarn through and then yarn over and pull through two. Then you're going to make three more single crochets. And then into the next stitch, insert your hook into that stitch and the chain 10 loop, pull your yarn through yarn over and pull through two. For the next stitch, insert your hook into that stitch, 
and to that same chain 10 loop pull your yarn through yarn over pull through two then you're going to make three more single crochet into the next insert your hook and into that chain 10 loop pull your yarn through yarn over pull through two so you're just going to repeat that all the way across your next stitch you're going to insert your hook and you're going to insert your hook into that same chain 10 loop yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two then you're going to make three single crochet into the next stitch insert your hook then insert your hook into the next chain 10 loop yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two so you're just going to repeat that all the way across until the end of the row and then at the end of that row you're just going to fasten off the front panels are made the same way it's the exact same pattern but this time instead of doing 100 rows of single crochet back loop only you're going to do just 35 rows of the single crochet back loop only so here this is just my my front panel as i mentioned 35 single crochet back loop only for the ribbing and then just continue the same pattern as your back panel and you're going to make two front panels once you've finished your front panels you're just going to fasten off and leave a long tail now we're going to start working on the sleeves so we're going to start off by making a chain of 11 single crochet into that second chain from the hook and then single crochet into each chain all the way across at the end of this row you should have 10 single crochet so for the next row we are going to chain one turn our work single crochet working into the back loop only of every stitch all the way across and then you're going to repeat this row until the end of row 42 so here i have 42 rows done next we're going to squeeze in 65 double crochets all the way across so we're going to chain three we're going to continue with our pattern so we're going to double crochet into the next four rows Then chain 10 and then you're going to slip stitch into the front loop of that last worked double crochet and that center diagonal I'm just going to repeat the same pattern as your front and back panel but at the same time keep note of your double crochets you're going to squeeze in 65 double crochets at the same time as working this stitch pattern now at the end of this row your stitches will be very crammed and this cuff might curve a little but after a few rows it will all sort itself out so as i said the sleeve it's the same pattern as your front and back panel you're going to do the same stitch pattern and you're going to continue that until your sleeve measures about 17 inches and then you're going to secure your loops the same way as your front and back panels and then you're going to fasten off and leave a long tail then you're going to fold your sleeve in half i should have actually folded this with the braid in the inside but no harm you're going to seam your sleeve closed then you're going to get your back panel 
have the braided side facing up and place your two front panels with the braided side facing down and then you're just going to seam across the shoulders and then you're going to seam up along the sides leaving an 8 inch opening for your armholes. So once everything is seamed together you're going to turn your cardigan the right side out. You're going to attach your yarn to the bottom corner and you're going to single crochet all the way around. I like to put two single crochets into the edge of every double crochet row and one single crochet into the edge of every single crochet row. So you're going to repeat that all the way across until you reach the other side. Now when you reach the other side we're going to chain 11 single crochet into that second chain from the hook and then single crochet into each of the next nine chains So altogether you should have 10 single crochets. So next we're going to slightly turn our work. You're going to skip that very first single crochet and then into the next two single crochets make one slip stitch into each of those stitches. So you've made two slip stitches. Then you're going to turn your work. You're going to skip those two slip stitches and then you're going to make 10 single crochet back loop only. Next we're going to chain one, turn our work, make 10 single crochet back loop only. Once you've made your 10 single crochet back loop only, you're going to make one slip stitch into each of the next two single crochet. And then you're going to turn your work, you're going to skip over those two slip stitches and then make 10 single crochet back loop only. And then at the end of this row you're going to chain one, turn your work, make 10 single crochet back loop only and then you're going to slip stitch into each of the next two single crochets. Then you're going to turn your work, skip over those two slip stitches and then make 10 single crochet back loop only. And then you're going to repeat that all the way around your entire neckline until you reach the other side. When you reach the other side, fasten off and weave in all your ends. And that's your cardigan completed. If you liked this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Don't forget the free written pattern is on my blog, crochetwithcarry.com. So until next time, take care.